Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to each and to every one of you. So good to see you on this morning. So good to be here with you. I see you coming. Y'all come on in. Come on in. We're going to have a great, great time on this morning. For this is another day. Another day that God has blessed us with. Yes, he chose you and he chose me that on this day we would be coming together that we would be doing life together, that today we would be connecting together. But more importantly today, we are connecting with Christ. Hallelujah. Y'all come on, come on in, come on in. We're going to have a great time on today. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver. And today, Again, we're so delighted that we have this moment, this opportunity of coming together, sharing with you. Today, we are having another morning with Jesus. Y'all, come on in. Come on. We're going to have a great time on today. Yesterday, oh, we had a great time. Yesterday, we found that he walks with us. Anybody glad about that today, that he walks with you? Ah, yes. But today, oh my goodness, we're taking it just a step further today. Today is February the 4th, February the 4th. And our devotion today simply says he leads and carries. Not only does he walk with us, but he'll lead us and he will carry us. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise just for the title today. Hallelujah. Type it in. Go ahead, put it into the screen. Hallelujah. We're going to have a great time on this morning. Again, our devotion today, February the 4th, says he cares and he carries. This devotion was written by Grace Fox. Here we are. It says, Grace, she often sees a neighbor taking his little terrier for a run. The man rolls down the road, balancing on a hoverboard. <laughs> that dog this races right behind him. When the dog tires, his owner scoops him up and carries him. The animal nestles against the man's chest. He, he rests there contently and, and secure, able to ride for miles. Watching these two reminds her of Jesus' promise to carry his children. Hallelujah. Sometimes the path he leads us on feels long and tiresome. We grow weary and, and our souls pant for water and rest. Grace has experienced times just like this. For years, she, she sweated over her ministry calendar. She wanted to be fully available to fulfill God's purpose for her life while being fully available for the needs and celebrations of her immediate and extended family. You know, stress and guilt from trying to do it all sapped her energy. She finally learned what it means to let Jesus carry her. She asked him, she said, Lord, schedule my ministry trips in such a way that it would leave me available for family when they need me most. You know, God answered that prayer for her in amazing ways, at least three or four times every year since he's delivered. No longer does she feel the need to do it all, and she does not entertain guilt if ever overseas when her family needs help. Well, you know, we ought to pray for and encourage our family, even, even if we must do it from a distance, knowing knowing that we are leaving the responsibility for their well-being with Jesus, who has promised to carry his children, which certainly applies to us. Hallelujah. Come on, let's just give God some praise this morning. Thank him right now for he leads and he carries. He's right there with us. Hallelujah. We just have to allow him to do what he is going to do. Thank you. Hallelujah. Lord, we praise you on this morning. Let's move now to our scripture 
of consideration this morning. We're going to jump over to Isaiah. Isaiah 40, verse number 11. It reads, He tends to his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads those that have young. Hallelujah. Lord, yes, I thank you. I thank you for this today. Here it is. We're going to go right to Isaiah 40, 11. Let's look at it again. It says, first of all, he tends to his flock like a shepherd. Hallelujah. And you all know, you all know about a good shepherd. That shepherd is one who, who is right there with the flock. But not only that, when one veers off, he'll leave the 99 to go and to retrieve that one. He wants us all to remain in the flock. A good shepherd will lead that flock to safety. He will protect the flock. Hallelujah. He's right there ensuring the safety of the flock. And then when there needs to be one that is carried, he's able to carry them. It says he gathers the lambs in his arms. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He gathers us in his arms and he carries us close to his heart. That's what he does. He will pick us up. He knows when we are weak. He knows when we're in those moments where we just need to be carried. Hallelujah. Even before we know, sometimes we hate to even come to him and bring it to him and say, Lord, I just need your help. I need you to carry me. I need you to hold me close. He's there. He's ready to gather the lambs in his arms and he just carries us. Hallelujah. He carries us close to his heart. And then it says he gently leads those that have young. Hallelujah. He knows the difference between those who are new in him and those who are old in him. He knows the difference. He knows your comfort level. He knows your connection with him. But what I like about this here is that it says he holds, he carries them close to his heart, but then he gently leaves those that have young. He knows who has young, who are also leading. But guess, a, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Even though you are leading, he recognizes that there are times that even you may need to be carried. Hallelujah. And he just grabs us all into his arms and he protects us. He holds us there and he allows us to rest in him, safe in his arms. He carries us. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for leading and carrying us. Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God some praise right now. Thank him for he knows what's best for us. He knows when to carry and to lead. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead to God now in prayer. Hallelujah. Most gracious God, our heavenly father, our creator, our leader, our master. God, we praise you this morning. God, we thank you this morning. We lift you up. God, recognizing today that you are all powerful. God, you're right here with me and you're right here with them. You're all over, God. You're everywhere. And so we thank you for that on today. You, we recognize today, God, that indeed you have a huge flock. <laughs> yes, and, and just like a shepherd, you are leading and you are guiding. God, you're taking care of of us, God, and we just love that today. We thank you for that on today. You don't just leave us. Have us here, God, and you turn your back on us, that you look away from us, but no, you are like a shepherd. You are leading, and you are carrying us, so we thank you for your love, God. We thank you for your care, God, for being there for us, and God, today we, we now see that even that we have to recognize that you're here, God, and then take some of the load off of ourselves. Hallelujah. The enemy will come and, and just pour things on us, God, that will weigh us down, that will keep us distracted and focused on many things. And, and not only that, he'll bring about guilt and shame and we're not able to do some of the things, God, that we want to do, such as for family members and things of that nature, God. But we're right now, we just need to put that in your hands. God, that you would order our steps, that you would order our calendars, that you would order our day, that we're able to serve you, God, and to do what you called us to do while managing those 
earthly things that we have to encounter. So God, we just thank you for this today. God, we just need to take a moment to interact, to contact, to communicate with you. Have that conversation that you might order our steps with us today. So we just bless you. We praise you. We thank you, God, for we know. We know indeed, God, you are the author and the finisher of our faith, one who leads us and one who carries us. And when we are tired, God, you scoop us up. You allow us to rest in you that we might be restored, God. Yes, we thank you for that on this morning. Heavenly Father, we're praying for those who are going through today, all of those who are viewing their family, who are going through. Some right now need that moment of rest. God, scoop them up. Have them to know that you're right there with them, God. Help them. Give them what they need. We bless you and we praise you on today. We know, God, that you are going to move. God, you're going to do just what you said in your word. You are not a man that you should lie. So we thank you and we praise you on today. And now, God, we ask you, keep us that we might be kept and bless us today that we may be more of a blessing to someone else. God, do it for your glory and for your honor. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. And everybody, everybody said amen and amen. Type it in. If you agree with it, you're declaring it today that on this day, you're going to allow God to not just lead you, but carry you in those moments when you are feeling heavy, when you are feeling down, when you just need to rest. Allow him to carry you. Go ahead. I'll just throw your hands up. Say right now, God, scoop me up. Scoop me up, God, into your arms, into your bosom. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for leading and carrying us. Well, I trust and pray that today's devotion was a blessing to you. If it was a blessing, share it today. Go ahead, take a moment. Right now, I'm going to wait on you. Share this word today. Share it. Well, do something you haven't done in a while. You haven't done it. Share it. Allow someone else to know that God, God, he leads us and he carries us. He knows when he needs to just scoop us up, share, share this word on today. As a matter of fact, I'd like to say to you, just you, recall the time. Think of a time. Think of a time when you were a child and, and, and when you uh, when you care, had to have an opportunity where you just relaxed in the arms of, of, of your parent. Just think of a time. I know you have, I have many times that I can think of one of the, I, I, I truly believe. I truly believe that I used to fall asleep intentionally in the evening when the family was up watching TV just so my father could scoop me up in his arms, carry me to my room, put me in the bed and tuck me in. Recall a time when you were carried as a child and, and you were able to relax in arms. But then do this. Make it your purpose to rest that same way in Jesus' arms. Hallelujah. Well, I am Reverend Davis, executive pastor here at First Baptist Church, South Hill. Our senior pastor is Pastor Michael R. Tolliver, and we're just so delighted that again today, we've had this wonderful time of coming and sharing, doing life together, that today we have had another morning with Jesus. Thank you so much for being here. We don't take it lightly. We pray blessings, blessings upon your life. I ask you now, tune in with us. Tune in with us again on tomorrow. Tune in 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. Let me just make a minor correction. No, it's not tomorrow. Tune in with us on Monday. Today is Friday. This week has flown by. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. We're already into the month of February. Today is the first Friday. And so just tune in with us on Monday. We'll see you right here on Monday, 8 a.m. on my page, 8.30 a.m. on First Baptist Church South Hills page. We trust, we pray, we know that you will be blessed for having done so. Please know today that I love you, but God, God loves you best. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.